what up what up what up this is mike the philosopher here with another one got a special guest for y'all yo yo is in the building how are you my dear hey i'm good i'm good good to be back talk all right yeah yeah same here good to talk to you too um rtl is in full swing now in yeah, full yeah. swing okay now this this week was different from last week and uh first let me let me ask you so far because i don't really have a uh an opinion about the men i want you to talk mm-hmm. to me about the men on this show what 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 are your thoughts about it who are some of your favorite who are some of the guys you're not feeling who are some of the guys that you see potential in? Talk to me. Okay. So, so far, I think my favorites are Dominique. Mm. I think I'm saying his name right. Dominique. Uh-huh. And uh, I like Jonathan. I like Jonathan. Jonathan. And I like Chaz. I like Chaz. Okay. Okay. Uh, so if I had to give you, let me see if I can give you another one from the first. No. LaRon? <laughs> I can't give you but one. LaRon is just, he's just so young and immature so far. That's my impression of him. He's just, okay. it's like, he's just kind of silly. And yeah. he's young, immature. I should maybe I should just say immature because I don't think the age thing is really indicative of maturity or immaturity, you know. But mm-hmm. he just comes across as not being too serious and wants to party a lot. I think he's saying too much of the wrong things to right. the ladies, and it's and it's turning yeah. them off a little bit. So yeah. uh, Dominique, I like Dominique. And mm-hmm. uh, Will Jury still out. Now, there's a dark skinned Will, and there's a huh, yeah. and, and a comedian Will. So, uh, which so one? The dark skinned Will, dark skinned okay. Will. Okay, the jury's out a little bit. Uh, on him. so I guess mm. my top so far, yeah, I like Jonathan and uh, I liked. I like Chaz. Yeah. So if you had to uh, draft two guys so far, uh, the top two would be who? Jonathan and Chaz. Jonathan and Chaz. Okay. You like them mm-hmm. over Dominique, huh? Okay. All yes. Right. If I had to go one, two, I would think Jonathan and Chaz. What do you like about Jonathan? I think Jonathan, okay, he's from Nigeria. I yeah. think you know, I, I, I said he the family. Hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah, and they own a recycling company. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I had I had a guess. I did I didn't know this. I, I I did a review uh last week and I said that Jonathan, he looked like he's from Africa. Um and I was spot on. I didn't <laughs> I was kinda you were- I was kind of surprised that I got that right, but yeah, he was. Um, he is from Nigeria, and I I called it. But yeah, so you like you like his culture that he's from Africa. Is that is that I, what you like? Or well, I think that kind of speaks to the family business. I think he's a family guy. I think he's a family oriented mm-hmm. type guy. Uh, mm-hmm. He talked about being married. Mm-hmm. Um, so you know we know that he's he's at least open to marriage he has one child Mm -hmm. uh and he was in some ways i think he you know he was nice to all of the ladies even the ladies that he wasn't necessarily feeling i think he he was he was a gentleman I, i i just liked his whole vibe i thought jonathan that's at least how he came across to me he seems um, to be kind of like uh, hmm. I, now, uh, you know, uh, you don't have to answer this if you don't want to. But are you are you okay. dating at all? 
No, actually, I'm no, not. not. Okay, okay. No. So, um, I was wondering because um, he, uh, I think Jonathan, how old is he? Is he? I forgot. Jonathan how old he is, is 36. I was going to ask what your age range would be. Um, I like from youngest to oldest if you were dating but you know, okay you say you're not so so here's the thing i i'm older than all of these people so <laughs> i would say, hey don't feel bad I about that my range would be at the low probably 40 40 okay. That's so so as, as i think chaz is the yeah, Chaz is the old. I think for Chaz is the oldest guy, and I think Layleen mm -hmm. is the oldest woman. I think she's at like forty-one. Yeah. So yeah, she's those at are the, is forty. Yeah, so I think those two are the oldest people on the show. Not that that matters; they can hold their own, um, and and they ain't too much really far good. from the I other people. She doesn't look 40. I, I would not at, have paid at her all. necessarily. At she all. Looks she looks really, doesn't. really good. She does. She does. Yeah. Um, looks, yeah. Well, tell I me what you think about some of the women then. Um, what, what do you think about so some favorite, of the women on last week and on, and on this week? Okay. Okay. I think I like Mika from last week. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see. Koisha. Is it Koisha? Koshia. She, she rubbed me. Koshia. The jury's out a little bit. Mm -hmm. I did like. Um, wait a second. Is it Alexis? I liked Alexis. I liked mm -hmm. her. She had the curly mm -hmm. kind of free from yeah. hairstyle. I did like nice her. Man. And yeah, and uh, April, I think she's a little, she's wound a little, maybe too tight right now. I think she needs to loosen up a little <laughs> bit. I think there's some, I, I'm, again, jury's kind of out on her. I thought she was, she was a little, a little tight. So Mika, I thought Mika was, Mika was good. I did like mm -hmm. Mika and I liked I like the Lexus. Yeah. I thought they oh. were just kind of easy breezy. Uh, you know, kind of loose, not right. too not too tight. Mm-hmm. Those those so far, those are the ladies that I like. Okay. Okay. How about uh on this week's with the women? Who, who okay, stood so out this week with the lady, I like Maya. I like Maya. I think she's mm -hmm. a cutie, and mm -hmm. I like I like Leyland. I just think mm -hmm. Leyland is she's beautiful. I just think mm -hmm. she's on. I mean, at, at first glance, to me, she just she she just looks like the total package. Um, mm -hmm. And so, right now, those are my top two. Now, let's see. I think Patrice, <laughs> Patrice is a handful. She was fun. Mm -hmm. She was fun, but I think I think she's she's a handful. I think Rashida, if I'm saying her name, yeah, mm -hmm. I think they kind of like in the same category. And mm -hmm. uh, I think Vanessa, Vanessa needs to loosen up a little bit. Vanessa mm -hmm. needs to loosen up a little bit. I, she was she was lucky that Chaz had a chance to kind of sit with her and they had that moment together because nobody was really she was just so dry and she wasn't really yeah, she, giving any of the guys an opportunity. Yeah, she was she was very very the conservative. Guy, kind of tell very, very very. I'm sorry. What was that? Even you what? know even in. I was going to say, even in those moments when, uh, for instance, Lamar, I think his conversation was a little off-putting, but I think there's still a way to kind of navigate around 
those topics to where you don't come off as sort of judgmental or you know a little too a little too tight uh yeah he because he shut Alonzo down. <laughs> uh, yeah because he was mentioning um threesomes and stuff like that and yeah uh, Based I on think a that, new B. yeah i think it you know it, I think Alonzo is a, a pretty um, free spirited guy, and he into all this, you know, stuff. And she's very conservative. So, I think her last husband, she said, was a white guy. So she's trying mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. tap back into the culture. <laughs> I don't know exactly. if that's going to be an easy exactly. transition because uh, I don't know. She's acting very uh, Stepford wife right now. Would you agree yeah, with, she's with that? Just, just tight. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. You, 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 you're, you're right. Uh, I don't know that I ever did. She, maybe she smiled a little bit. I don't. She smiled she a little bit. Feel very. But not. Yeah, sort of she like didn't want to go to. And warm. It was kind of standoffish a little bit. That's kind of how I felt. Right. Right. Yeah, she was kind of standoffish. She's not likely to uh, do any kind of um, skinny dipping or anything like that. Don't ask her to skinny dip. Don't ask her to, you know, any anything that's wild. Because his whole thing was spontaneity. He said he wanted a spontaneous mm-hmm. woman, you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, mm-hmm. she seems far from spontaneous. She said, I like to plan everything out. <laughs> I was she like, said okay. No. She, I said, mean, she said no. Like no yeah, wiggle room. Yeah, yeah, like, no wiggle room. <laughs> and, you know, that's pretty much the end of the conversation. So, and, you know, I will say to a lot of guys out there, I'm going to say this to the ladies. A lot of guys out there like a woman who is flexible at least. Nobody wants to, Mm -hmm. I mean, even women like men who are flexible, nobody wants to be with someone who's stern and uh, not open to new things, you know, Uh, you know, let your hair down a little bit, relax. I mean, we supposed to be best friends, so there should be nothing that we shouldn't be able to do together. If, you know, if you're my woman and I'm your, if I'm your husband, you're my wife let's skinny dip i mean look i I can only i can only experience a lot of this stuff with you as my wife so relax if i can't do it with you who am i gonna do it with you know what i mean so go ahead and you know what and, and it's and it's okay to be silly and it's okay to i'm not saying that you you know, do stuff to just purposely make a fool of yourself. That's not what I'm saying. But you have to be able to laugh at yourself. Like, yeah. you have to be confident enough to know that, hey, okay, if I do this, it, it may not go 100%. And I may be looking silly in that moment. And guess what? It's okay. It's not the end of the world. And guess what? Life is so short, right? I Max. think that we should spend more time having fun, being silly, acting goofy, you know, mm. cutting up, having fun because life is too short. And to your point, you should feel safe enough with your partner to experience all those crazy things. And guess what? Even if it's scared, just try it. It's not the end of the world. Just try right. it. There's right. so many, if you think about it, just the world itself in terms of what there is to experience and things that that's available for us to do. There's just so much to do, right? So just mm-hmm. live life. Just live life. Yeah, yeah just live I life. It's, it. Yeah, it's, 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 I mean, life is short. Uh, if we get married, you know, then, then that, that, that really limits, that really limits who I can do a lot of stuff with. Okay, that, that is you. That's my wife. So, you know, sometimes, you know, I think, I think that, um, what's her name? Uh, Vanessa, I think that she will, 
I, I think it's just going to take the right guy to bring that out of her. It's going to take a guy that she likes yeah. and respects. She don't know this guy very much, uh, Lamar. She don't really know him like that. So uh, it's easy to say no. You know what I mean? But say, for instance, her and Chaz get together, right? If Chaz mm -hmm. is that type of mm -hmm. guy, I think that she will be more open to it. I think it depends on the guy. So, yeah. but at yeah. the same time, look, you they only got one life. life, live it together and live it full, live it, live it, you know, live your life. Don't, everything ain't got to be all in the box, you know, and planned out. Yeah. But you, I, I would imagine that's probably, you know, I think she has, go ahead. Yeah. I was going to say, I think Chaz picked up something about her though. I think he picked up that sort of like that quiet kind of classic type demeanor that she because I, I do think that that's something about her she's I me looking at her she's 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 quiet but she's a, she is a she's a very attractive lady she looked really good I mean her dress and everything she looked good in her dress when she walked in she looked really good and maybe it was something about her that he picked up on that sort of quiet, kind of reserved uh, mm -hmm. spirit that 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 you know she she portrayed, and I think he picked up on that. They had a nice moment when they walked away together. I thought that was a really nice moment, the two of them together, you know. And he's an older, more mature guy. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Um. I think Vanessa is very attractive. Uh, real hair, yes. body is banging. Yeah. face is nice yes um very yes. attractive woman okay um yes. i do like her classy yeah. look i do like like uh you know her demeanor but as at the same time even i would request that she loosen up a little bit you know what i mean yeah there's yeah. now that like yeah. vanessa and patrice are worlds apart <laughs> okay Patrice is oh, yeah. worlds apart. But Patrice, she I think she worlds invented a like a a, a, a machine, a or a orgasm machine. I don't know what it was, but uh she it said she she Yeah, she said she invented some type of machine and I I don't know, I guess she making money off of it. But uh to do uh what are those keto exercises or whatever? I don't know. But uh, yeah. um the kegel the kegel exercises the, the kegel exercises she's <laughs> yeah she mm -hmm. is a lot so so you're talking about someone who is super uh spontaneous loose and then you're talking about vanessa i mean these women are worlds apart in in personality and how they move exactly. you got you got patrice who is exactly. uh got piercings in her lip and in her i don't know i think her eyebrow or whatever she got tats all down her uh you know like pr practically a sleeve or whatever and then you got mm -hmm. this stepford wife of vanessa who is all bundled up buttoned up and hair is up and mm -hmm. you know and very conservative plan things out let me say let, let me say this i i i am in, in my opinion, I think that uh, the Fort Worth women got the Dallas women on choke. Okay, they got the Dallas women beat. Now there were there were a couple nice looking chicks in Dallas, um, but Fort Worth way better women as far as looks go. So in, in my opinion, wait a minute now. When you say Dallas, you talking about last season Dallas? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so you're comparing the last season to this season? Correct. Right. Correct. Yeah. The, the, these 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 are some nice. They they're they're very nice looking ladies. They oh, really yeah. are. Yeah. Like if, that, if if Janelle is at the top of the list, then you know something is. Janelle and Jessica. Yeah. I thought J Jessica was uh, attractive uh, as far as the women last season, 
but I didn't like her attitude. Uh-huh. Who 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 was the who was the top women? I know Lee and who else? Um, oh, Cat Katrina. Uh, Cat 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 can Cat should have been on the Fort Worth season. <laughs> Yeah. She for yeah. she Fort Worth yeah. uh yeah. caliber. So is Lee. Yeah. Um but the Love, rest yeah, of those no. women were mm-hmm. pretty basic to be honest. Uh um again, I was a very attracted to Jessica. She's sort of my type, but I did not like her per- personality very much. Um but these yeah. ladies, oh my goodness. It's just yeah. So they they brung it this time with the women. I don't know about the men. Only you can speak on that. What, what, as far as the men from last season and the men from this season, what what are your thoughts? I would say this season is better. Okay, I would say now you had you had better. Chris, you had Christopher, you had uh, Morier. You had Quentin. No, that's it. Just Chris, you just, had her just Chris and Christopher. <laughs> really? Okay. No, okay. just 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 pretty much Chris and Christopher. Uh, what was the guy that was with Janelle? Um, Maurier. Oh, uh, Janelle. Uh, Quentin. That was uh-huh. Quentin. So Quentin initially, but then he fell off because yeah. for obvious reasons. Right, but my right. two favorites from last season, Chris and Christopher. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I think this now, Herbert, season, you, I think you, for Herbert, you didn't like Herbert. Guys, Herbert too. had a lot of attention, uh, especially in the beginning. You remember Herbert, the dress? Mm-hmm. No, not I your, remember. not your flow. Yeah. I remember okay. Him. No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No. What were some of the other no. men uh, last so- season? <laughs> Let me see. Last, I see, and I can't even remember. That was that was yeah. the uh, oh shoot, the one guy that was uh, he made. You remember it to the saxophone the player? Uh, Do you remember the saxophone player? Oh, he was uh, crazy. <laughs> I forgot dude name, but BB, BB, was it BB? Yeah, BB. Yeah, BB. Yeah, yeah. Dude now, nuts, attractive man. guy, but he was crazy. He was He was, nuts. He was, he was yeah. missing a couple screws. But you know, the first guy. Yeah. The first guy that they let go last season. I think that they let him go so soon. I think it was because they said that he wasn't ready. Do you remember? Yeah. That? Brandon. And it's because he had, he, he married the same woman twice. So they decided to let him go, which is why I thought that they were going to let William go because he was married twice, but to two different mm-hmm. women. Um, mm-hmm. I noticed that, but they didn't even give Brandon a chance last season. They did. I think the they first did. person who I think the first person who leaves, they should they should get they should get on make a move. <laughs> The first person who leaves. That's a good point. You know what I mean? That, because I don't really think they got a, a fair chance. Especially the first day. You know what I mean? It's like they should get their own show. Yeah. They should qualify for a make a move type of show or something like that. Now, um, they let Patricia go. What were your thoughts about yeah. Patricia? Very guarded very uh mm-hmm. and i hate to say this but i just didn't see any softness i didn't see any openness i didn't see any she didn't even like she was there having a good time she just was very closed off and you know the conversation that she had with jonathan i was like no don't say that stop yes. stop stop she was saying yes. all of the wrong things and I was she like, was. no guy is going to want to jump into that because you're just being so negative and just, it was just not, it was not a good conversation that she was having. I think she even said that she wasn't interested in anyone or there wasn't anyone there so far that sparked her interest or something. 
the conversation with Jonathan, you could tell he was completely turned off with her. Yeah. And yeah, he was. He was very. Well, you know, she looked a lot better than I thought she was going to look because in her picture uh, that RTL provided, she looked very basic, to be honest. But she looked a lot better on the show. Mm -hmm. She must have left and yeah. didn't even get to take pictures. Like, she must have left super fat. Like, she left the same day she came and they didn't even get to take good pictures of her. Yeah. And um, she, she one of the things that she, to me, she yeah, she was she was pretty to me too. She like I said, she looked better than I thought she was going to look. Um one of the things that she said and it kind of raised my eyebrow a little bit is she said that uh she needs a man to create a safe space for her. Uh what what were your thoughts about that? Well, I think that you know, you have to be open yourself you have to be willing to be open to love and 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 take that step and understand that vulnerability is a part of that and in love there are no guarantees we all have to take that leap right and so right. you have to you have to be healed and confident and self-assured to know that okay i'm gonna boldly walk you know, into this thing called love, knowing that there is no guarantee, but you still have to give your all 100%. And mm -hmm. it's not fair to put that responsibility on the other person, mm -hmm. right? And so to right. me, that's what she was saying. And I, that's what Jonathan heard is like, man, this is gonna be really, really hard. And in a situation mm -hmm. like that, if a person is not completely healed, there's, there's never going to be enough creating of space that the other person will be able to do, you know, right. because you have to, you, have to, you have to be that completely healed whole person in and of yourself. It's two whole complete people coming together, right? And then mm -hmm. you, whatever you create, you create that, you create that together with the other person. But no, it's it's not that other person's responsibility. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Did she come off as a little not damaged a to you? Like like she came like yeah. like she still needs some healing to do. Very much so. Very yeah, much so. Yeah, Very yeah. much so. And if I'm a guy and if I'm sitting across from her and I'm listening to her, I'm just like, no, <laughs> like I'm just like <laughs> this is not going to be easy. This yeah. is not going to be easy. Yeah. You know, and I yeah. think that's what he heard. That, who was she know. talking to, Jonathan? Yeah. Or who was she talking to when she said that? She was talking to Jonathan. She was okay. talking to Jonathan. And you could just yeah, see it he, all over his face. That he was. Mm, he was like yeah he oh, was he was okay. pretty he was yeah. pretty respectful about it you know he didn't really uh what? you know say anything that was you know negative or derogatory i think he just uh sorry about that i think he just he just looked at it like uh you, you can kind of tell just by looking at him like he was thinking like oh man this is going to be an uphill battle and most men would think that most women would think that if if okay now i'm responsible for how you feel i have to create a safe space like i just met you i don't even know you <laughs> i just met you I, you know I, and and i and i'm i'm getting all these emotional responsibilities already so i don't know that's not yeah, a way that's, a that's not a way to start things out ladies um but no, yeah I don't, I don't, that that conversation heavy for me just listening to her it just felt heavy like yeah like you could just feel the weight of that conversation i'm like that that's not what i don't think the mixer is supposed to be i think it's just supposed to be kind of light in right. terms of right. meeting people talking you know kind of easy going and mm -hmm. uh that that felt so heavy it's like she had a cloud i don't know it just felt heavy watching that that, that whole interaction can you can you kind of explain why um not all obviously right not all but just from a male perspective can you explain why some women
do that and and come in heavy and come in like 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 that well and i and i think i think it's it's uh you know I, i'll use this analogy say for instance if you if you if you break your leg or if you sprain your ankle or something you have some type of injury right you're gonna mm -hmm. walk in limping that's just because you're hurt you can't and, necessarily you, can't you can try it, and right? act so it hurt but it's almost like can you even help it if it's just a part of you and you're hurt and you're injured and you're walking around with all of this heaviness and it just comes out because i think you know what's in your heart you know like i think it just it's just so natural i think sometimes people can suppress it and but if if there's just if you're just so filled with that heaviness it's just sort of like this overflow and it just comes out and and maybe it's been it's because you either i think some folks just intuitive like you just know it in terms of when you're meeting people for the first time but you know i think a lot of it is a, it's, it's an art to the way you do certain things right mm -hmm. say for instance mm -hmm. uh i heard someone you know give the example like you go on a job interview there's certain things that you don't say if you want mm -hmm. that job right exactly and so exactly. when you're you're dating interviewing is the exact same way there are just mm -hmm. certain things you don't say. And maybe sometimes right. if, you know, we, we all prep for interviews, maybe we should do more prepping for dating. Ooh, um, bars, bars. Uh, everybody watching, Yo-Yo uh, uh, is dropping bars here. Y'all might want to hit the like, share, and subscribe, okay? Uh, for the, for the uh, you know, conversation that we're having, we would appreciate that. Uh, let me ask you this, yo, yo. Um, uh, it was funny to me when I seen one of your favorites, Jonathan, right? Jonathan said that right. he learned okay. how to court women from TV. Well, what did you think about that? <laughs> Jonathan, be quiet. Like, for, that up. I was like, for real? You, <laughs> you be watching too much Cosby, bro. Like, I don't know. Um... I, I was I was just kind what of tripping out think? off that. What were you thinking? I was thinking the exact same thing. I'm like, <laughs> and when were you? How old were you when you were watching this? Because surely you've learned some things since Martin and the Fresh Prince. Yeah, like oh, yeah, that's, yeah, that, baby, yeah that, that, like way Martin. back, you know? Right? Yeah, that was a curveball. I was like, what the heck, Jonathan? What are you talking about? Right, like how do you I, I, learn how to court women from TV? I, I guess the flowers, maybe. He learned how to give women flowers, or maybe know how to learn how to date watching Martin. I don't know. That was that was puzzling. Yeah. Too. <laughs> so I was that was like, so uh, yeah. puzzling. It's been, now, yeah. now he said he'd and been living here. Martin. He said he'd been living uh -huh. here in America all his life for the most part. So uh -huh. Uh -huh. I don't it's it's hard for me to understand that like why can't you just pick that up from the culture why do you have to watch TV unless uh, it, it just don't make sense but you were saying something about Martin Yeah and Martin always did stuff the wrong way <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking Martin was a goofball yeah, he was. Martin yeah, never he was. did things the right way. You know? No, so, that's that's, yeah, part, that's that was part of the reason they broke up. I think Gina left because he, he didn't yeah. want to marry her and all his other stuff. Exactly. So yeah, just mm. crazy stuff. We got to be so, careful, y'all. Yeah, what we put on TV. Yeah, we got to be careful what we put on TV yeah. because it, obviously it has a heavy influence. We got to be careful with. The music we listen to, obvious, that's a heavy influence too. So, uh, yeah, let's. Mm -hmm. I, I think we should go back to the whole Cosby positive image uh, theme. Uh, you know that we can. I know I'm. I'm not talking about him personally. I'm talking about the image he put on TV. So, um, I think I we need to go back to that format. Um, um, uh. Yeah, Vanessa was pretty uh, tight. Um, Chaz, your other favorite, right? 
he he talked about his mm-hmm. his kid passing away. Uh, I thought that was kind of heavy too. Um, sometimes I, I think I think sometimes heavy is maybe heavy can be good and heavy can be bad. Um, yes. What did you think about that heaviness that Chaz dropped on uh, Vanessa about his about his child passing away? I think in that particular moment, I didn't have a problem with him sharing that because it gave a little more insight into, you know, what he went through and how he got to this point. But I think the difference with Chaz was he said, yes, I I had this horrible, horrible experience. And it sounded like it detoured him for a while, which you could mm-hmm. understand losing a child. I think he said his son was six months old and mm-hmm. him not ever wanting to feel that again and being somewhat afraid to go down that road again. But I think the difference with Chaz is it's like Chaz came out on the other side and he said, yeah, I went through this horrible experience and Again, it detoured me for a period of time, but I'm ready now. And so I think that's the difference. So I think that it's okay to share, you know, some hurt or some traumatic experience, but to show how you've grown from it and how you've come through it, how you've come out on the other side and so you're some, better for it. Like he said, I'm ready now. Right, right. So some women who are watching right now, might say, yo, yo, what's the difference between, you know, Patricia's heaviness and Chaz's heaviness? What would you say to them? What I would say is Patricia's still stuck in her heaviness. Mm. And what I would say is Chaz has, Chaz has gone through the fire. He's gone through the storm and he's come out on the other side. At least that's what he showed in that moment with Rashina to say, I'm ready now. You know, Mm -hmm. and like it sounded like he's open to, you know, having kids because I think that's the way it came up in the conversation. Maybe he she asked him if 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 he wanted children or had he had children or it was some question that she asked him and he answered Mm -hmm. it. And he he he, you know, and and I think some vulnerability is good when it gives the appropriate amount of insight into Mm -hmm. who you are as a person, right? And who Mm -hmm. you are in this moment. And so Mm -hmm. he tied it all together in a way that was very touching. Who who could not just feel the pain, right? In that moment. But here's a guy that said, I'm ready now. I'm ready, I'm open. I'm open to having, you know, another child. And it's relatable. It's a relatable Mm -hmm. tragedy. Yeah. Anybody yeah. could say, if I had gone through something like this, right, I would never want to feel this again. And I think in many ways we lose sight of how how hard it is for men. So I can just imagine because, you know, men are always told you have to be strong. You have to, you know, not show emotion. And I could in my in my I could I could empathize with him and say I could see him as a man saying man, I don't ever want to feel this amount of pain and hurt and so you know maybe subconsciously maybe he wasn't even aware that he was you know all those years purposefully maybe not even being in a relationship or not getting serious enough with someone to be in a position to say do I want to you know get pregnant again and have another child so you you know all of these things you in your head you're going through in terms of what this man would have gone through he's 47 years old Right. And he said his kid, I think he said his son would be 20. So he was 27 when that happened. He said, Mm. my son would be 20 now. Mm. And so we Mm. don't know. Did he put his life on, or did he put his love life on hold for all those years? Right. Not maybe not wanting to get close to another one, you know? And then we Mm. don't know what happened with the relationship with you know, his wife or, you know, his son's mother. I don't, I don't, I didn't get any clarity in terms of whether he was married. I don't know. Well, so let, let I don't, me, you know, don't know what, what happened with that. Yeah. Let me, let me say this. Um, this is a personal story of mine. 
okay uh when i was married with my wife okay we uh, her first pregnancy um well i'll put it this way we ha- she was pregnant with my daughter my daughter was premature you know uh but before before my daughter before my daughter uh we had a miscarriage okay the loss of a child can really affect a couple it put them through the most strenuous tests that a relationship stress wise that they could possibly have Mm -hmm. they can either come together Mm -hmm. and bond closer or it can draw them apart so the fact that he and his girlfriend or wife whatever lost a child that can really um put a lot of stress on a relationship it all depends on how you uh respond to it as a couple and if you are if you let it strengthen you or if you let it tear you apart it will do one or the other so it sounds like it probably told them apart it's, it was tearing him apart inside and he had to emotionally get over that himself 20 years later he's still talking about it and um it does look like he's going through some healing uh and maybe he's ready to try again but you know 20 years to a lot of people is a long time but you know, especially if you don't really, if you don't have any kids, it can be even harder to heal from it because that would have been your only child, you know? So, um, I've went through something similar to him. Uh, my, my wife had lost, uh, our first child and it was very, um, very, 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 very traumatic for, for both of us very traumatic to the point where i'm so sorry yeah 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 thank you and um you know um we did end up having another child which is my daughter but even she was premature and that was that was stressful also because she was in an incubator for two months i mean she cost two million dollars before she got out the hospital I mean that's that's how expensive it was to to take care of her um but things like that can really wear on a couple um it can mess with you consciously especially if you don't have kids like chas so uh you know my my condolences go out to the brother and his uh girlfriend or wife at the time um but i'm glad the guy is back on the saddle ready to try and um you know continue on with building the family so shout out to chaz mm-hmm. for that and that was pretty heavy not easy to share but it is something that right. um you know still weigh, weighing on him but i can understand him uh you know sharing that but at the same time you know mm-hmm. Uh, one one could probably question if the if the first meeting is 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 that's appropriate at the first meeting, but I think he was really genuinely trying to make a connection with Vanessa, which is why he opened up like that. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. I, I think so too. I think I think in that moment it was uh, he he was he was having a connect. I think it was uh, I think it was Rashina. Wasn't it Rashina that he opened up to? I think it was Rashina, right? That he was talking to about that mm-hmm. about his kid. I think he was. Rashina. I thought it was mm-hmm. Vanessa. Mm-hmm. I thought it was Vanessa when when. No, were, you're with, uh, with, with with Vanessa. He and Vanessa, he and Vanessa they walked away and they were talking about the sunset. You remember they walked away and they had that quiet moment about the sunset because I think yeah, he, she yeah. asked him, "Do you like sunrise or sunset?" So it's with Rashina that he was sitting and talking with her 
um, because she shared that she had two boys. Um, and so they had a moment there to, it was Rashina. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Yeah. So yeah. He, was having, he was having a connection with her and he shared that he shared his, you know, his past with her. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a do a video, uh, a, a ranking of the women, um, in another video. So stay tuned for that. Uh, speaking of Rashina, um, it's a lot of surprises with a lot of the ladies um, and uh, mid season. I'm going to label it wifey rankings in mid season. I, I need to get to know these women a little bit first before I go to the wifey stuff. But uh, stay tuned for that. Um, Alonzo, what do you think about Alonzo? The dreadlock, because I, I tell you right now, he seems to be the most popular guy on the show it seemed like he 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 was a funny guy uh but then you have to wonder who's the real alonzo <laughs> just mm -hmm. like he was kind of all over the place <laughs> um so he i was, don't know he if he was so i don't know if that and if that's who he is i mean he was an easy laid back funny guy uh very you know really good personality um uh, mm -hmm. but it's just like mm, i'm just kind of not understanding can you turn it off can you switch it up because i think it's important right it's yeah i yeah. mean if you always the life of the party if you always that guy that's entertaining everybody I mean, that's yeah. a place for it, right? But who mm -hmm. wants that all the time? So I wasn't sure. I'm just trying to say, okay, is there another side to him? Uh, I thought the interaction he had with Patrice is like they had that good sort of, you know, Yeah, they had that little going. chemistry. You know, she said something funny, yeah. too. She said, she said, I have all his babies or something like that. I was like, wow. Yeah. Okay. She did. First she meeting. Did. I have so, all his babies. Yeah. Like, man. Right. So he um he did. He talked to all of his and so yeah, I, I just yeah. I, did you feel out I'm not sure. I'm not okay. sure. It was fun watching him. Very yeah, it's fun. It's fun watching you know? him. Yeah, he's 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 T V ready. He's entertaining. But uh I guess as a woman you probably would question it, how serious the guy is. I don't I don't I don't I think what is he like 36 or something like that? Uh insurance 35. claim adjuster. 35. Right. Uh tall, right. the dreads, you know. Um he was he was he seemed to get most of the women's attention, which was uh interesting. Um he said something though that kind of raised my eyebrows. He said she got that light skin with them tattoos that's popping. Now I, we know I what we that too. Now you know what we've been through with Quentin, right? And the colorism, right? Are you suspecting exactly. that? Exactly. Is it fair to say, you know, to watch out for that with him with the colorism stuff? There are there are a group of guys out there that love it's it's a, it's like a fetish. Light skinned black women with tattoos. Um, and he may be okay. a part of that. That's the thing. Uh, fet yeah, that's a that's a fetish group out there. So I think you know that's why a lot of light skinned women get tats because there's a group of guys out there that that's loving that. He he must be a part of that community. I don't know, but um, what do you think about the whole you know um, I guess you can say colorism stuff, or or do you suspect? He is, or he just he just talking right now. What do you think? Well, when he said it, I was like, "Why do you have to make note of her complexion?" Mm -hmm. So that raised a red flag with me because you mm -hmm. could have simply said her tattoos are popping. I like her tattoos right. because right. some people like tattoos, some people don't like tattoos, right? And so, right, right. But then you were. Very very intent on making note of her complexion so is it because of 
her complexion and the tattoos on her complexion or the tattoos in general. So for me, it raised a red flag mm -hmm. because I don't think it was, mm -hmm. we can all see her complexion, but he made note, he, he felt he needed to point that out, right? So to mm -hmm. add an extra, extra added, you know, sauce to it just because she's, you know, because of the complexion. So for me, that just, I was like, uh, yeah. 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 I, I took That's notice to big. that too. And it was like light skin with the tattoos. I mean, I, it could be innocent. It could be innocent, you know, but it could. like you said, he could have just mentioned the tattoos and just left it at that. He didn't have to do all that light could skin have. stuff. You know what I mean? And, now, and, I and we're already on high alert with, when it comes to colorism. Right. We're already right. on high alert. So for that moment, not to even be cognizant of how that would be, you know, how that would come across. To me, that kind of spoke to, to okay, this guy's, you know, IQ <laughs> in terms of what to say right. and what not to say. Like, right. mm, you, you gotta, you gotta be more aware. Does that make sense? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta you be more aware because colorism comes up in practically every season in RTL and one in some shape, right. form or another, it is a thing in practically every season. Uh, I, I think even Tommy spoke about this and in some of the reunions, like we got to get out of this colorism crap. Like, this is ridiculous. So I'm hoping it's not creeping in already with, uh, you know, Alonzo, but we'll have mm -hmm. to wait and see. But, uh, yeah, I just thought that, that that raised my eyebrow, so I thought I'd ask you about that. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, so one last question is, um, at the end of the show, uh, April was sitting down with uh, Lamar, right? And she was like, how long you been married? And he was like, why, why is that important? And she was like, because I said so or something like I asked you. And and he was like, oh, man, I can't deal with this. I can't deal with this chick. What was you thinking when you seen that scene? I know it, I know it hasn't fully aired. It's probably it's just a clip from next week. But um, what, what did you think of that clip at least? So I'm thinking is more to to what happened on that day. Like I told you, she's okay. So like my impression of her is something wasn't quite there with her. Uh huh. And so it didn't really surprise me that he would have had that type of interaction with her. But I'm uh -huh. thinking that whole date was probably going left. And in that moment, he had probably, I don't, you know, yeah. Because you were thinking that one isolated question would not have, because I think the question was, what did she say? How long? Have you, how long were you married? Was that? Yeah. The how long? How long ago were you married? And I think he was like, so that why, why does that matter? It, I mean, so I'm thinking that something happened before that, right? That they were probably mm -hmm. going off track before that question, because that question in and of itself is not a bad question right do you see what right. i'm saying that here's me, that here's would be a question if you, hmm, go ahead right here, here here's one thing that i'm thinking april is i one thing i give her is i think she's a sharp woman i think she's pretty smart i think she's pretty sharp she know what questions to ask she know how to read guys she know how to kind of get to the bottom of stuff which can be annoying to men. <laughs> okay. Don't try to dissect me already. Okay. So she asks, how long ago were you married? And Lamar is defensive. Why? Because it probably wasn't too long ago that he was married and he probably just got divorced, but he don't want to let that cat out the bag because he don't want that to be some kind of label on him. This is, this is my guess on what's going on just looking at that clip okay i don't know this for a fact i'm just saying that he defensive about that answer because that's like asking a woman how many bodies did you have or, or do you have on you or how, what's your body count like why why you need to know that 
You know what I mean? Because there are some questions that you know you're going to get judged <laughs> off of immediately. Go ahead. But see, but that, but that's on him though. Yeah. In that moment, that's on him yeah. because I that question to me, if you say, if I ask you, okay, so have you ever been married? And you say, well, yeah, I I was married, but now I'm divorced. It would seem like the logical next question would be. Well, how long ago were you married? That just mm -hmm. seems like, especially if I'm in a, if I'm if I'm in this sort of dating phase and I'm trying to get to know you. So right. I'm thinking prior to so like to your point, was he just triggered <laughs> because it was so new and so fresh that could like you say, or has she just he been drilling him, drilling him? And he was just like, look, <laughs> why is that, you know? Right, right. Now, here, here's my thing. I think it was a fair question. It was super mm -hmm. fair question. How how long ago have you been married? Mm -hmm. He was he got defensive because he don't want to be labeled. I understand men. I know how men think. That's why he was mm -hmm. defensive. Why, you, why, why is that gotcha. important? I'm here now with you trying to get to know you and and the rest of the ladies why like it's a divorce mm -hmm. why why are you even bother with that if i tell you it was only three months ago you're gonna judge me you're gonna put me in a box i ain't trying to go home already just because you got this label on me because a april has a talent for dissecting men okay and it's annoying to men so um yeah and so look they, he, that's, she did it with uh let me see what's his name what was the guy's name that went home uh, uh oh that was Diamante. uh demetrius yeah De demetrius no demonte demonte yeah yeah remember when he was, was, named when he was opening car, up to her about and she was quite judgmental so i yeah she was you yeah know. she was she she was judgmental she jumped she kind of jumped to conclusions. I'm not saying they're the wrong conclusions, but she kind of jumped to right. them. And and soon as she did that, Diamante was gone. And Lamar is like, whoa, I see what's going on here. You're trying to judge yeah. me. For the box. So he didn't want to answer it. You know, now mm -hmm. the question wasn't wrong. The the okay. response was suspect. Her mm -hmm. response mm -hmm. was out of order. Okay, because she yes. said, "Because I asked you." Now that is a huge that's that's a turn off to guys universally. Okay, don't nobody want to. You know, there's a lot of ways she could have uh, handled that and not been like, "Because I asked you." Like, imagine a man trying to find a wife and his wife is saying, "Because I act like, no, nah, you ain't the one, yeah. sis." You know, I'm was, not going to deal with that the rest of biggity. my life. Yeah. It was yeah, a go ahead. biggity type. It was, mm. very, it was very biggity type. Uh, right. That was, I, I did not, I did. And, and what it did was it escalated the situation. Right. Because it completely went off, off the rails when she did that. So I agree that that was not the way she should have responded to him. Yeah. You know? And then she said something kind of snarky as she got up, like, Oh, uh, I, I, I forgot what she said, but it was something snarky and she got up and he was like, okay, fine, dismissed. And, but I just yes. thought that that was kind of, uh, I'm not going to hold it too much. I want to see the whole episode and the, the circumstances of, to why they got so, you know, uh, dismissive with each other and kind of snarky with each other. Obviously, it's no love match, but... I just thought that clip was mm. kind of interesting. Um, any uh, any other highlights you can think of on this episode? Well, I was I was just gonna add. Now we know how reckless reckless Lamar was talking with those other women. Okay, <laughs> and yeah. we know April is a little bit different. So, you know, the other women, when Lamar was saying all that stuff, they just kind of fell back and just kind of, you know, did maybe the eye roll, but they didn't really challenge him mm -hmm. on what he was saying to the extent that, dude, you are completely out of order. 
if they even felt that way. So if he went into that date with April with that same kind of, you know, just saying whatever you want to say, I could see the two of them kind of, you know, yeah, bumping heads yeah. a little bit because I think April has a very strong personality. I think she has a strong personality. Um, but no, I think I'm just trying to see looking over these people. Who do I, who did we not talk about? I think we, we didn't really talk about Leilin too much, but I, I really do like Leilin. Um, yeah, yeah, me too. I just, I, I like her. I like Leilin. I like Leilin. And, uh, I like uh, Maya. I like, um, I like Shamika too. Uh, I like Alexis. Mm -hmm. Uh, um you know yeah mm -hmm. so i you know there's there's some chicks there that i rock with um some that are in question and it, some not my speed but it is what it is <clears throat> so, i will yeah. say this i'm gonna talk about all like of them the in my way. ranking video though so <laughs> <laughs> go ahead I, I i i hope i hope this season i hope this particular season i hope it's I hope it's light. I hope we, I'm hoping we don't have any mean girls because I did like the way the ladies at the end, the way they sat together and the way they talked. And it sounded like, at least it came across on the screen. Like, you know, they said, I really don't want anybody. It's a competition. We all know it's a competition, right? But it doesn't have to be ugly. And I don't think we want to see the women fighting. I think we, we still want to see everybody get along. And I, I enjoyed that hug out at the end mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. with the ladies. So I hope Fort Worth is, you know, a fun season to watch. I really do. I really do. <laughs> and I you know like it's going to be. I did. You I know, know, you know, you know. I know. Okay, go ahead. Huh? No, go ahead. What are you going to say? You know it's you know it's gonna be drama, you know it's gonna be uh, I'm uh, wig snatching. Let me tell you something, Koshia, she is a drama queen, and it's oh, gonna yes. come out later on in the season. I think April is gonna be a drama queen, and it's gonna come out. Um, mm. And maybe even somebody that we're not suspecting right now. Like, uh, I, I I don't want to say Vanessa, but uh, she's on a she's so conservative that she could probably border on being a little uh, sarcastically nasty, like one of those sarcastic women who 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 um, probably think that she's better than all the other ladies or whatever um i'm hoping mm -hmm. that's not the case you know what i mean um but yeah it's it's gonna have drama so oh you know i know that i know you were hoping for a kumbaya but uh no, you, you can hang no, that I up don't. okay I don't. i'm just I saying know, I know. Yeah, but yeah you yeah, april so. Koshia, I Koshia. Mm. Yeah, I seen Koshia, in one clip you know? she was talking about uh, I slap this nippy and all this other stuff. Oh, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. No, yeah. no kumbaya, no utopia <laughs> for the ladies. Okay, uh, we're gonna have to wait until the reunion uh, for them to kiss and make up. But during the season, yeah. it's gonna be filled with drama. So get your popcorn. So. No. I know it's a beautiful cast, though. I, I, I it's a beautiful cast. Uh, yeah, I like. Yeah. I like. So I like I'm seeing so far, though. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see how this whole season goes. Um, uh, let let me ask you one last question. Uh, mm -hmm. just, just, just initially, just initially, give me your top three possible couples. Okay, <clears throat> let me see. I, okay, so I like, um, let me see. I like Vanessa and Chaz. So far, I, mm -hmm. I like Vanessa and Chaz. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure. See, at first I like Jonathan with Leilin, but then Jonathan really likes Maya. 
So I can mm-hmm. put Jonathan with with Leilin or Maya. Um, I don't Patrice and Alonzo. Mm 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 mm. That ain't gonna work. <laughs> I don't. I do. why, why not? Why not? That's that's just it's, it's it's just too much activity going on. They they too they too up here. They they you know. I see Patrice as being she needs a calmer guy. She needs a more kind of even keel guy to kind of like settle her out a little bit. And mm-hmm. so I don't think I don't think Alonzo is that guy. Like I could really see Patrice with a with a um like a Chaz, you know. Mm-hmm. I, I I'm 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 having a hard time, you know, or maybe Patrice with uh Dominique. Uh from from last week i could see i could see patrice with a dominique mm. um because see uh what's her name maika doesn't want any more children right. so i don't see the, the whole dominique and maika now will right. and alexis i kind of like them together you know, Will, Will and, and Alexis? Alexis from last week. Yeah, I like Will and Alexis uh, dark, together. Dark, dark, skin, dark skin Will. Yeah, yeah, I like dark skin Will and Alexis. <laughs> you didn't like them together. No, no, no. Last well, week, let, let me tell you. I, I don't know. I don't know if you know uh, Will. I don't know if you know his personality. Will could be an F boy. Okay. Will, in my opinion, just my opinion, I could be wrong. Will is more putting on. I think he was putting on a lot. He was just, I think he was just doing too much. I don't even know if that's even him. Because in those moments with her, you think so? I see Will with Patrice. Really? Okay. I see Will with Patrice. Oh. I think Wait they both. Second. Will, is, yeah. first of all, no, 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 no. Will is only thirty-one, and Patrice is forty-two. Patrice is forty-two. But Patrice is forty. Is forty-two. She's the uh, the braids and the tats. Yeah, yeah. And the oh, so she's the, the oldest woman on the show. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. She. She's 42. April is 41. See, I'm having a hard time. I can't yeah. put April with April and Dominique. Mm, no, I don't. I'm not sure. I had a. I had a. I had a better. I had a better. Uh, I was seeing more couples this week than last week. Right. Right. Yeah, it's going it's going to be interesting. I I I'm going to give it us another a- week to try to give us another week to try to figure out the couples here cuz it's 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 too early right now. But I was just curious as to I I kind of agree with the whole Chaz and Vanessa thing. I think Chaz is probably yeah. going to end up with either Vanessa or Layleen. Um I think that Dominique is uh from last week is probably going to go after uh maya maybe he's probably going to either try to go after maya or uh who else i could see him still going after uh shamika too so you know, yeah. So yeah. we'll see. We'll see. Alonzo, I think he's we'll gonna see. go after Shamika too. Once he sees, once he sees Shamika, I think Alonzo is gonna go after her. Um, but yeah. he do seem to be a, he do seem to be a colorist. So uh, he yeah. could probably go after. Uh, I don't know. I think Alexis is a little too sophisticated for him. Uh, who yeah, else? I think I think yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Maika got 
she 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 got the body yada yada. So it's gonna when they come together, it's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. Yeah, it is. It is. So we'll we'll leave it there, and we'll see next week. We'll probably have a better idea okay. on what's out there. Uh, any other any other thing you want to say real quick? Mm -hmm. uh, that's okay. it. That's it. Thanks for joining me, Yo Yo. I want the ladies to act right. I want the ladies to act right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> and, and I don't even know if that's gonna happen with the guys. We'll have to wait and see. But um, thanks for watching. Hit the like, share, and subscribe. And we will catch you in the next one. Bye -bye. Peace. Bye-bye.